So, uh, as those of you have seen our first Capamon video, it was pretty much the basics. It was just setting it up, and we've gotten a few requests on the commands. People are having issues with the commands. I'm gonna make it super simple and easy, and also I'm gonna show you why some of your commands aren't working. So, this video is for you, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. And this is Live Streaming Tech, where you're gonna learn how to live stream online a super simple. Okay, so we went, it was almost a year ago, actually feels like a year ago, <laughs> probably not quite a year ago, yeah. but I uh, showed basically how to get your Capamon, your chatbot slash overlay virtual pet set up for your live streams on Twitch. Now, the thing is, is we've been kind of hit up with a bunch of other questions and whatnot, and we kind of put Capamon on the back burner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video, and I'm gonna show you how to set up commands, what are the difference between certain commands, and also the problems that you're running into, and possibly the solutions on why your commands aren't working. So Take it away, future Walt. Okay, so you guys kind of caught me off on guard on that one where you were like, hey, you put Capamon 1 out, where's Capamon 2? So let's jump right into it. A lot of people are having issues with the commands, whether it be making them or the commands not working, which actually there's quite simple fix to that. But first, let's go over the commands and what exactly they do. The first one, trigger. Now, anytime you make a trigger command, that is going to be a command that starts out with the exclamation point. So that would be similar to other chat bots that you use in Twitch and whatnot. Uh, so Capamon pretty much works the same way when you want a triggered command to work. You need to lead it off with an exclamation point. Second one, keyword. Now the idea behind keyword is what Capamon is doing, the pet is actually listening or watching chat and they are looking for specific keywords. So for instance, if you set up your keyword, the command as banana, anyone who types in banana, whether it be in a sentence or by itself, it will trigger the Capamon to do that as a command. The third one, scheduled. Now this is very similar to other chat bots that you might use. So say for instance, uh, you're streaming live on Twitch or Mixer and by the way, uh, make mental note that right now Capamon only still works with uh, Twitch and Mixer, but you want to send somebody over to your YouTube channel or hey, check out my YouTube channel. Then you can schedule the Capamon every 20 minutes or every 30 minutes or every hour within your stream to shout it out. So every timed interval, the Capamon is going to do this command. Number four, is the auto command. Now these are the ones that are embedded into the Capamon program and these cannot be added manually. However, you can disable them to turn them off if you choose not to use them. This could be, for instance, uh, subs or follows on Twitch. The Capamon will respond to a follow or a subscription to your channel. Say for instance, you're using other alert systems and you think it's just too busy for your Capamon pet to be doing uh, these alerts as well, you can go ahead and disable these. Just remember, you can't add these auto ones manually yourself. Let's go ahead and we're gonna pull up the screen here and as you see, we're in my brother's. Um, didn't jump into mine. I know we kind of used mine to lead it off with, but uh, we're gonna start fresh. And the reason being is because I have a ton of commands and a ton of different things, and then I'm kind of doing some a little bit more advanced stuff as well. We're just gonna stick to the basics. As we see here, here are our different commands within that we have access to. Once again, the auto ones cannot be added manually, but you can edit or disable them. We're gonna leave his alone. Now, for instance, we added one, a trigger. Remember a trigger starts out with an exclamation point. We have exclamation point hype. And then, for instance, this is what the Capamon will say within the bubble. And then here's the time frame. Let's go ahead and go in and edit this real quick so we can show you how it's done. So say for instance, we wanna change it from hype to, what well, was change it to win, exclamation point win. So now, anyone who types that command in to the chat, it will pop up this message. And you can change the animation. Here are the different animations. You have attack, dance, eat, gift, uh, greet, and idle. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna leave it on attack. We're gonna leave it on trigger, but say for instance, you just wanted to change it to keyword, you could bounce it down to keyword and drop the exclamation point. And then this is where you can assign user groups. So say for instance, you only want your mods or yourself to do it, then you would 
use one of these, but we want to leave it for everyone. We want uh, our viewers to engage. Now here's the duration. This is how long that the program will stay open or I'm sorry, the visual will stay open. And then the cooldown, this is how often they can do it. So every 10 seconds is as often. So once that timer, once it goes off, it's gonna start at a timer of 10 seconds. It kind of keeps people from spamming it. So if you wanted to set it up for a minute, you would set it for 60 seconds and then hit save. Now let's go ahead and close this real quick. And let's go ahead and test that now. But before we do, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go down, you're gonna to wanna to click on the sources under your Capamon, right click on it, go to properties, and then you're gonna to wanna to refresh cache of the current page. What this does is it updates it with the Capamon website. If you don't do this, the update will not take place. So a lot of you that are having command issues, you're probably putting the commands in and you're like, wait a minute, they're not working. Make sure you go in. You're gonna right click once again under your sources on the Capamon, go to properties, and at the very bottom, you're gonna find refresh cache of current page and you're gonna click that. So now let's go ahead and let's test out. Let's type in exclamation point. We're gonna type it into the chat exclamation point win, boom. Now he says, oh wow, yeah. So our Capamon actually responded to it. I shouldn't have refreshed it. I should have shown you what happens when you don't refresh it. But that's the majority of the problems that you're running into when it comes to that. So the next one, we're gonna go ahead and open this up again, is the keyword. Now with keywords, now if anyone just types in hype, whether it be by itself or in a sentence, it is going to trigger our Capamon. So let's go ahead and give it a try. And by the way, we are not live. You can test this out even when you're not live. Just make sure you're logged into Twitch, whether it be through Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, and you should be fine. Or you can open the Twitch browser and type it in as well, or open it up on your mobile device. As long as you have that chat open and you, that's how you're gonna test your Capamon and it should respond with an OBS. So as you see, he did what we wanted it to do. Now the next one's scheduled, unfortunately, it's not gonna go off quite yet because we do have it set to 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's edit that real quick, or 20 minutes, because that's what they recommend. Capamon recommends that we set it for at least 20 minutes, which would be 1,200 seconds. But let's go ahead and let's drop it down to a minute. Let's see if it'll do it. It might, Capamon not let us do it. So let's go ahead and drop that down. And we're gonna test another one too while we wait for that one to pop up. So let's pop this up real quick here. And the next one is going to be, that's gonna shout out his YouTube channel, but then we also have a keyword which is banana. Now, let's go into edit and I'm gonna show you what we did. So instead of typing in within the message here, we went down here and we have a image link to a Giphy. So uh, for instance, we have the taco ones here. I like to use stickers, but you can make your own gifts and upload them to Giphy for free as well. So if you wanna make your own gifts, you can uh, source it over as long as you have that link. And once again, make sure you refresh the cache on the channel uh, that should work. But um, this is where it goes to, it's going to Giphy, but you can use other websites as well, as long as it's not a broken link. Uh, once again, we have it on a keyword. We have it set for duration eight seconds and the cooldown is 60 seconds to keep people from spamming it. We're gonna hit save. Once again, let's go ahead and update this. Let's go to properties. Let's refresh. Hit done, let's get that off. Okay, so let's type in banana. So now as you see, instead of him saying something, it's actually showing the GIF on there. So and you can, once again, you can set it for as long as you want it to, or as short as you want it to. You can make the cool down as long as you want to. And we're gonna wait a few minutes here and see, or actually technically it should only be a minute to see if he shouts out the YouTube channel. There it is. So. As you see, now he's saying he's checking out. That is the timed interval. So now that it's went off, it will go off again in another 60 seconds. But let's not do that because once again, the uh, Capamon owner uh, recommends going 20 because that's the thing. It's like you're already having a bunch of commands and keywords because you can add as many as you want to the actual command center here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and go back into edit. We're gonna change it once again to 1000. 200 seconds because that is the minimum that they recommend for timed but as you see it worked let's go ahead and we're going to make one really quick here just so you can see how the process is once again we're going to go to add 
Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's do another gift one since we have the tacos up. Me and my brother both like tacos, so let's go ahead and give him a taco command. So let's go. Uh, let's call it. Uh, yeah, we'll just say taco. Okay. So once again, we're going to come over here to Giphy, or GIF, or Jiffy, however you like to say it. And I kind of like this one here where he's jumping up and down. That's the thing. The more animated, the better. So we're just going to click that copy link. We're going to come over here, Control V, got the link in there. And then let's do keyword. So that way anyone types in taco. And I think if they pluralize it, it'll go off too. We're going to test that. We're going to do eight seconds. You can do however the long duration you want it to be up on your screen. I prefer eight seconds. It allows people to see it and you can move on. You can also shrink your Capamon down too if you think it's taking up too much of your screen. So the cool down, uh, let's do this one for 120 seconds. That'll be a two minute cool down. So that way everyone's not spamming tacos. So now let's see here once again. Oh, let's not test it. Let's not update it. Let's not refresh the cache. Let's see if this works. So let's type in taco. Say, and it didn't register. So a lot of you that are running into that problem of the commands not working. That is what you need to do is you need to be able to go in, go in your sources, whether it be Streamlabs, OBS or OBS studio, right click on the capture, the browser capture that you're using for Capamon. That's why it's kind of, you know, you want to title your things, right? I have his titled Capamon, you can't see it, uh, but trust me, it is. We're going to go to properties, refresh cache. Okay, now we're going to type taco. And what do you know? It worked. You missed the first one. You want to check this one out here where we show you how to install and get the Kappa mod running if you haven't seen that. And then you know what else is a good video? Over here where my brother talks about Stream Elements chatbot. Yeah, you want to give that one a try to see more about engaging your viewers and having them engage you back. I'll see you around.